Hi, welcome. Today we're going to be decluttering my lipsticks. Lipsticks used to be like my favorite part of makeup. I think it was just like the trend for them to be the favorite part of makeup. I'm sure a lot of people who have been interested in makeup for many years can relate to that. But between maybe like 2014 and 2017 or 18, I acquired so many. And then that's when my interest in lipsticks started dwindling a little bit. So I'd say that the bulk of my lipstick collection is probably still from that era. And I want to change that. I want to make sure that everything I have is still like good, smells good, good consistency, and I'm excited to use it. I started last year with, I think it was 288. And then I started this year with, I think 168. And I would love to narrow that collection down to something that I can remember all of my lipsticks, feel like I'm getting good use out of them, because it's been a long time since I've been able to say that. So let's switch over to my hands and see how many lipsticks I can declutter. So it's kind of cut off, but these are basically all my lipsticks. I'm gonna take a picture from my angle so you can see what I'm seeing. I don't have the lip liners included in here because when I go through those, I wanna like swatch all of them and I don't want them to be grouped in, in this big old grouping. And I also probably still have something in like purses or whatever. I tried to look a little bit, but it's an impossible task. I can't really try to have all of my lipstick in one place, but I think I did a pretty good job here. So we have a couple different sections. I've been filming my lipstick every day in January. That probably already went up. I have like a day or two left of that. So that's this pile here. And right now I haven't reviewed that footage, but right now I think I want to keep all of these. So I'm just gonna stick all of my January lipsticks to the side. This pile here is lipsticks that I already put in my bag to the side to declutter or consider decluttering. So we're gonna go through those first and then we'll come back to this huge pile over here, which is like everything else. So when it comes to these, I definitely stuck these in there in various times throughout last year. I did do a lot of lipstick decluttering, but I didn't get to everything. And yeah, that's a lot of what this is. I might have said in the intro, I haven't filmed that part yet, but I want to be more cutthroat about my lipsticks. I have so many and so many of them are so old and I want to make room and make time for the lipsticks that I actually want to wear. So I'm kind of just reminding myself to trust myself. And even when like I just pulled these out, some of them I was like, oh, this like, this was like a KVD sample in the shade K-Dub. And I really liked it for like a bright pop lipstick and I smelled it and it smelled so bad. <laughs> and then a couple of the other ones, I smelled them and they smelled really bad. And it kind of just reminded me that there's a reason that I put these in here. For some that aren't as old, I have these like two Hello Kitty bombs from ColourPop and they're cute, but like, I'm just not into these colors. There's one that I really like. I had to buy them in a pack of three. I don't regret it because it was worth the price for the one that I really like but I don't need to hold on to these two in colors I don't wear just because I have them. This Marc Jacobs one is in the shade Fawn Over Me. I've had it for years and I love it. And actually when they were kind of like liquidating their stock at Sephora last year, I replaced it with a fresh one so I can definitely get rid of the old one. This is War Paint Beauty Lip Gloss. I got this when I worked at Hot Topic so long ago. I have a black Rimmel lip gloss. I remember this is on sale at Walgreens and it was just like a so me kind of thing, but I never really wore it. I still have a black matte liquid lipstick that I'll be keeping and I definitely don't need this really old gloss. I have some really old bright colors. This is the Anastasia liquid lipstick in the shade Pure Hollywood. This was like the shit for a minute there back years ago. And now it's such a ridiculously light color that I can't believe that I ever wore it. Oh, I have a couple of these Anastasia matte liquid lipsticks. It was just so matte. This is the shade Honey. It's a pretty shade, but it's so matte and I never liked wearing it. And then I have 
two of the minis. I had a pack of the of the four minis at some point, but I guess they kind of got decluttered over the years. And in addition to them being so uncomfortably matte, just the bullet being so small with the mini makes it really hard to apply. Lime Crime Cupid, this one I've talked about in my pink lipstick video. It's a little tough for me, but it's old and it's time. I have the I Love Savour E satin lipstick in 951. Really pretty color, smells really old. Some Kylie lipsticks. This is Coco K. I love this one. I still have the liner, but you can even just see how like, can you see? How like dried out the product on the brushes. No thanks, I don't wanna put that in my mouth. This Juvia's Place lip gloss, I got this in a trend mood box and I don't wear glittery glosses that much, but I have a couple that I really like. And this one just like, it like really forces through the tube and it just something about that bothers me. And then when it goes back in, ew, you hear that? Weird. And then also there's this Milani fruit fetish. This was also from a trend mood box. And there is a strawberry lemonade one, which I used in January, really pretty, but I don't need three of them. That's how many I have. So this one's already over here to be decluttered. The one that's over here that I think I might hold on to for a minute, this Ofra Miami Fever, Ugh, maybe not. No, <laughs> it's old, I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm changing my mind as I'm saying it. I decluttered Havana Nights in my red lipstick video that went up recently that I filmed a couple months ago. And I was remembering there then how when I got that one, they'd already switched over to the white caps, which shows me how old these black caps are. And I got this one like a year or two before I got Havana Nights. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of all of these. That's 27 of them that are being decluttered right off the bat. Okay, let's get into all the rest of them. baby girl. Okay, so I have all the ones I'm keeping off frame so I can kind of like look at them and then decide which of these are worthy of joining those. I should say that I have 19 over here of my January lipsticks that I'm keeping and so far I've decluttered 27. So I don't think the numbers are going to stay that good, but that's pretty encouraging for now. Let's maybe start with pulling some of my favorites to make this January section look even stronger. I love this About Face Hot Pink. I did a whole two videos last year where I was like kind of discovering my perfect pink and it's definitely this one and I love it a lot. I also posted recently with my favorite reds. So I see these three right now and those are all moving over. This one's pretty new. It's from ColourPop. It's their Nightmare Before Christmas collaboration, the shade Oogie Boogie. I love that little component. I love these pops of green on lipsticks. The shade's really pretty. I'm excited to use this more. A couple other from ColourPop. I really like their lip oil formula. So I have this bright orange one from over the summer. It's the shade Hot Spark. And then I also have this glittery one from I think like their Cactusy collection. It's the shade Rain Check. Really cute. Another glitter, I just sniffed this to make sure it was still good and it still like smells really nice. It's the Dose of Colors Over the Top. It was a collab with Desi and Katie a couple years back and I like it. For a shimmery lip gloss, I'm not going to keep. I just sniffed this one and there's no way it's going anywhere near my mouth. It's the shade Saint Tropez. I know I used this last year and I was enjoying mixing it with like liquid lipsticks and things, but it's just reached its expiration point. This Fenty one's definitely staying. This is the Fenty Glow. I got this when they first released in like 2017 or something, but it's still going strong. Still a really nice lip gloss. If it does expire or I use it up, I'll definitely repurchase it and I like it. I also have the like lip cream version of it. I don't know if it's in this pile or not, but that one's definitely staying. Oh no, here it is. Yeah, the lip gloss and the lip cream, both definitely staying. Oh, and this Kaja one, I love this one. It's the Air Heart in the shade Baby Girl. I almost returned this because it was in a set with a blush and I wasn't that crazy about the blush. I mean, I like it, but it's like the big spongy one. And I, yeah, I tried to return it and it was like 
past the date. This is like during the quarantine and everything. So I ended up just keeping it and I'm so happy I did because I really like this lipstick. It's so creamy and like a really nice nude color for me. This is actually in the wrong spot because I know I used it this month, but let's talk about my Melt lipsticks. I have three of them. I'm not crazy about the formula, but I used two of them this month. This is the shade Moda. It's like a shimmery, weird bluish green, and I enjoyed it when I wore it this month. I also have the shade On The Go, which is like a neutral, and I also enjoyed this when I wore it this month. But I think I'm gonna declutter the one that I probably would have guessed I would have kept the most. This is the shade 710. It's like this yellowy brown, interesting, weird color, but it's just not me anymore. And especially in a formula that I'm not crazy about, not really wearing that many weird lipstick colors. Yeah. And like in a way, I feel like the, the greenish bluish one is like more special than this. Cause like this wouldn't be like a whole look on its own. Yeah, I don't need it. Oh, I got this Lime Crime one recently. It's the Wet Cherry Gloss in the shade Cherry Slime. So cool, I love it. I love the component. I love that it's a green gloss and you could actually see like the green glitters on your lips, but it's like in a way that's not too much. I really like it. I also got the Wet Cherry Gloss in the shade Bitter Cherry. How cute, I really like it. Definitely keeping. This is another Lime Crime one that I really like and I really like the component. It's the Lip Blaze. I think they phased out this formula and when I got it like a year ago-ish, it was like $7 in free shipping and that's the only reason I got it. And I'm so happy. It's like the perfect color for me. It's in the shade Clover. I feel like every line is discontinuing this type of formula. Like it's kind of like the Ultra Satins, kind of like the Kylie Velvets. Hard to find nowadays like a satin liquid lipstick but definitely holding on to the ones I have. Two more weird colors I'm keeping. I have this black ultra matte from ColourPop in the shade Friday. I like having a black lipstick around for when I need it. And then also this Lime Crime one in Squash. Really like it. it used to be like my favorite liquid lipstick. I'm not wearing it that much anymore, but I still enjoy having it. This Revlon one is super old. I bought it before I stopped buying Revlon makeup because it's not cruelty free, but I really love the shade and I need to do a video soon where I kind of like look for a dupe in my collection. Here's the Marc Jacobs one that I replaced the other one with, so definitely keeping. And this KVD Lolita, I replaced my old full size last year also with this mini. Lolita too, I should say. I have these two bombs from Milk Makeup. I bought them in a set along with like the Green Dragon one and I used up the Green Dragon one so I have these two left. It's Plush Berry and Bubble. I tried these on yesterday to make sure how I felt about them and I'm pretty confident in decluttering them. I just don't want color and bomb unless it's like a neutral shade. These just seem so messy to me, like I'd get them outside of my lip line and I wouldn't even know it because they're just kind of like slippery and balmy and I know I'm not going to use these. These two Too Faced ones are both pretty old, but they're the Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick. I have Melted Nude and Chihuahua. I wish they still had this formula also because it's that same kind of like satin lipstick formula. Definitely keeping these. I have this e.l.f. gloss that I got. I think it was like a free add-on when I made a purchase like last year or the year before and it doesn't really do anything for me, I don't need it. Another e.l.f. one, this kind of hurts my heart a little bit, but I have this stone, oh, smoky taupe is what it's called. I thought it was called stone, I don't know. But this month I wore my ColourPop Kathleen Lights collab in 0, .0 and it was kind of like a weird cool brown and I felt like it almost wasn't really my style anymore, but I, I like that one and I think this one's similar enough to it that I don't want to keep both and I like that one more. So this one I'm, I'm going to say goodbye to. This Milani one, like I mentioned before, I already decluttered the like clear one. I'm keeping the like light pink one and this is just like a dark pink one and I'm going to declutter this. Oh, here's another two from my red lipstick video. I almost want to declutter this orange, but I was looking back at the footage and I still think it looks cute. So it's staying for now. This orange I am going to declutter. I have this e.l.f. Seriously Satin lipstick in these two colors and the nude's really cute. The nude's in the shade Nectar. 
and the orange in the shade Persimmon. I was wearing it in the beginning of, I think my Glaminatrix video and it's just like a little bit too bright for me and I'm not into it. I'm gonna try to do a little organizing for what I have left. Okay, both of these Tarte ones are staying. This is a gloss in squad goals or just goals. This is the second one I have of this. Really pretty pink gloss, really like it. And then this Rum Punch lipstick, I really like the component. I've had it for a while, but it's like a nice formula, nice component. Rare Beauty Balm in the shade Thankful, definitely keeping that. Milk Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cream with periods in between it, like it's an acronym. I don't know, like it, keeping it. I have one more I didn't talk about from e.l.f. This is the Hydrating Core Lip Shine in the shade Ecstatic. I have two others that I wore in January. This one, I don't know if it comes up too deep in a way I don't like or not, but I do want to find that out. I like this formula. It's pretty new in my collection, so yeah, keeping it. This Jouer lip gloss in the shade Champs Elysis. I know I'm not saying that correctly. I really like the color. It doesn't seem too old. I know I decluttered Sloan that I bought it with, but I do like this shade a lot more than I like Sloan. I think this is still available, so it's possible I'll replace it sometime this year, but it's staying for now. This Tower 28 gloss. I got this sometime last year. This is the shade Cashew. I think I only used it like once or twice. It wasn't my favorite, but like I kind of feel like a cool person just owning it. But I know in a lipstick video that Hannah Louise Poston did, she was talking about the color going off for these Tower 28 lipsticks. And that definitely happened with this one. When I pulled it out, I'm like, what is this like orange, like butternut squash gloss? This was definitely not this color. It was definitely like a cool light brown. And maybe it's like their whole thing with like, I don't know. I think they have a thing about like not using preservatives or whatever, which is like all well and great, but like it sucks when like you barely get to use a lip gloss because it goes off. Um, so yeah, I'm decluttering this. I have three Charlotte Tilbury, which are staying. I have this um, Pillow Talk Medium. I wore this a lot when I first got it. I kind of forgot about it more recently, but it's a nice medium shade. And then I have Stoned Rose, which is always more orange than I'm expecting but it's pretty, it makes me feel fancy, and I think maybe like in the future if I'm comparing lipsticks, I might get rid of other kind of like nudie orange lipsticks and just keep this one. This I really always forget about. It's the shade Pillow Talk, but it's like, I can't remember the name of the formula. It's like this slippery, shiny, kind of balmy version of it, really up my alley. I have two Kylie ones left that are staying in my collection. The shade Kristen? Still doesn't smell that bad. I might replace it sometime too because I still do have this one. And the shade Charm, which is a velvet lipstick. I have this Juvia's Place one. It's the shade Me. I really like this one. I really like the component and it's not too old. This is from KVD not too long ago. It's the shade Lolita. This is like the mini one, but I like this formula and I like the color. I kind of wish I had like a lighter one of this also, but I'm okay with this for now. Um, Jaclyn Hill lipstick in the shade Perfectionist. I don't want to talk about it. I'm keeping it. I have these two Glam Light glosses that are pretty new. I got them both last year. I expressed, I think, in like a haul video that I hate that they're different components. It kind of just bothers me. And this one is like so big that it barely fits in my storage. But I like the colors. I like the scents and I'm keeping them. Lisa Eldridge in Kitten Mischief. Really cute. Really like it. Okay, hopefully the angle didn't change too much. I just had to change my memory card because I'm taking forever doing this. I have this many left to do. I'm hoping I can get rid of at least like five more maybe. Let's see. I have this Melt Liquid Lipstick that I got as a Sephora sample. It's a shade Rebound and I'm gonna keep it. Tower 28 Mini Clear Gloss also got as a sample. And I have to remember to use this before it goes bad like the other one did, but I'm gonna keep it. Persona Lip Gloss, the shade Peach, keeping. Wet n Wild lip gloss. This is the shade Pout of Paradise. I don't buy from Wet n Wild anymore, but I do like this gloss. I think this might be my only Wet n Wild lip product left, which is kind of cool because I used to have so many of them. I have two from Kaja. This was like a little set I got sometime last year. The gloss shots. I have the shades 
rosy mocha and milk tea. I have to remember to use these also, but I really like them. I like owning them. Another About Face lipstick. This is the shade Slumber. And it's kind of like a weird, cool brown, but I like it and I'm keeping it. Elf Alyssa Ashley Gloss is staying. Oh, I have this House Labs Le Monster Matte Lip Crayon in the shade Talk Dirty. And this just didn't impress me. It's like a weird format to put on lipstick because like the tip's just like not as thin as a lip liner, but I don't know. I just didn't love it. And it reminds me of another lipstick I have. One of the ColourPop Libby sticks, I think it might be Brink that I used this month. Or did I use Brink? I don't know. But either way, not excited about this and I'm not going to keep it. Oh, I have this Fenty one in Griselda. It's like a burgundy and I like it. I have three from Urban Decay. I have this gloss in the shade Fuel that I really like. It's like my perfect shade. Definitely keeping this one. And then I also have this this like lip stain, like self-adjusting lip stain, but I don't feel like it adjusts that much. It's in the shade Physique and I really like this one also. And then we talked about this in my pink videos. I have this one in the shade Jilted. I got it as a gift long time ago and I always thought it was so sweet and made me want to keep it, but my makeup collection is not a museum and I think it's time to get rid of this. I just never wear it. And it's really old at this point and I think it's time to say goodbye. Oh, I have this Jeffree Star one in the shade Thick as Thieves. I kept this around because I liked the color even though I wasn't crazy about the formula. It was like one of those kind of dry, pulley mattes. But I just don't like it that much. I tried it on the other day to see how I felt about it and it just felt like I was wearing a matte liquid lipstick. I wasn't crazy about it. It doesn't make me feel good. I have one from NYX. This is the This Is Everything lip oil. I really like this. It still smells nice and I'm going to keep this around. Bare Minerals Swag Matte Liquid Lipstick. I've This is the second sample I've had of it and I do like it. I need to remember to use it more. I think this is like one of my favorite matte liquid lipsticks and I probably would purchase it in the full size if this was too dried out or something. Oh, but it's not and it still smells like cookies. I think my last non-ColourPop one is this Anastasia gloss. This is in the shade Moon Jelly. I used to have the full size also, but then this one was newer, so I got rid of that one and kept this one. But this one kind of smells weird. And I just showed myself all of my nice glittery glosses, so I think it's time to declutter this one. Okay, so here's what's left of my ColourPop collection, other than the ones that I use this month, so are I'm keeping. Okay, maybe we'll go by formula. So I have one of this Fresh fresh Kiss. I don't know what that says. Glossy Lip Stain. It's in the shade Sugar Snap. You know, I don't feel too strongly about this. I've used it a couple times, but it just feels so messy. It has like the gloss all over it. And I don't know. I know the gloss itself is kind of sticky. I'm going to declutter this. For my lippy sticks, I have, well, I have six, and then this one is the Blotted. I know they re-brought out that line last year, end of last year, maybe, and I'm definitely tempted to try some of those. Maybe when there's, like, a lot of ColourPop things I want to try, I'll, like, let that build up and at some point get one of them. But I really like this formula. This is the shade Candy Floss. I really like this one. It's old, but it's still going, and I'm keeping it. And I think I'm going to keep all of these. This is Oh Snap, Sure Thing, Happy Thoughts, Climax, Brink, and Candy Paint. I'm going to keep all of these. I do like this formula. Okay, Bullet Lipsticks. I really like this formula. I know Dr. Facilier I'm going to keep. I know something that Hannah Louise Poston has said is that she likes having like one of each formula. And I used to have like a big kind of collector's mindset, like, oh, I like this one, like which one should I get next? But I think for me, especially when it's things like this that all look exactly the same, I wish I just had one of these. So I would be like, I would know what it is when I pick it up. I don't know. That doesn't mean I'm going to declutter these down to one. I definitely won't, but it is kind of annoying having all these gold tubes. So this is Friends. It's the brown one. My only brown lipstick. I like wearing brown lipstick. Definitely keeping this. Layover. I think I used this this month. 
I definitely used this one this month, so I'm gonna put that over with those, but it's like this really nice neutral color. Come on, sis, this is the collab with Shayla. Really like that, a little bit of a deeper pinky mauve color. And then I have, ooh, which is also her collab. And I really like this one over a lip liner. I haven't done that in a while, but I need to again because I really like doing that. Cream Fresh is, I think this is like their velvet blur line or something. And I'm gonna keep it. Bling Ring, gonna keep, it's a pink. And I think I'm gonna declutter this one. This is Scorpio Moon. This is a collab with Kathleen Lights. I like this one, but the shade is so similar to Lumiere. And I'm keeping Lumiere, I used it in January. So I'm gonna declutter this one. Makes me a little bit sad, but it's just not my favorite kind of color. It's very cool toned on my lips and I don't need it. Oh, one more of those. This is the shade Ghosted. I like this one, it's a little bit more berry. Here's all the liquid lipsticks I have left, or maybe some of these are glosses. First off, this one, Miha, it was a collab with Becky G. It might be like my favorite lipstick of all time. I love it. It smells a little old, but we're gonna keep it going <laughs> as long as I can stand it because I love it so much. This is the shade Rattler. This is a gloss. It's one of the newer ones of these that I have. It smells a little weird, but I'm gonna keep it for now. I'll try it out. This is the shade Calypso. I can't decide on the scent. I swatched this one. It swatched nicely. It didn't feel dry or anything, but it like looks dry around the tube. I'm gonna declutter it. I don't wanna keep that many old lipsticks. I know I loved and appreciated this during its time, and it's time to say goodbye. This one is the shade Frickin' Frack. Oh, this smells old. I'm gonna declutter this one also. Wow, I can't believe it. This is the shade Dopey. Ooh, really smells old. I'm gonna declutter that. Oh my God, I can't, I wasn't expecting to declutter those. Next one's the shade Barracuda. I kind of thought of this as like a deeper Calypso. I'm actually gonna keep this one. It doesn't smell that bad. <laughs> Magic Wand, one of my favorites ever. Probably gonna keep this. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. And then the last one is Take Five, which is an ultra matte. Oh, I really like this one. I think it might be time to declutter this one also. I think I'm gonna declutter this one also. Yeah, and that's okay. And that just means that when there's new lipstick formulas that come out, and if I wanna try one, I can try one that reminds me of this maybe. Okay, so when I said maybe I'll declutter five, I actually decluttered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow. Oh, wait, no, ten, because I put ghosted in the wrong spot. I hope I didn't do that before. So I already put the other ones in the garbage. Okay, ignore the lipstick mess on my hand because I don't have makeup remover right here. But today I decluttered 46. Wow. And let's see how many that I kept. Oh my God, 91. Is that possible? Wow, so I'm gonna say lip collection even though we are excluding lip liners today, but I basically just decluttered a third of my lipstick collection. I'm so pleased with that. I'm gonna take another picture to show you what I'm looking at right now. I'm keeping the ones that I use this month separated just cause I'm doing that in my collection right now to not repeat. Wow, I'm so impressed with myself and I feel like this is manageable like for so long it felt like my lipstick collection was just so bloated I didn't know what I had and I was stuck with all these old things and I'm kind of just realizing now like I'm not stuck with anything it's totally in my power to just declutter what I don't need and I really feel like I'm on that track and the couple that I kept that like I'm not sure about I can try them out now wow I'm gonna organize them back so I can put them away. Okay, it's not the perfect setup and I still have some more that I have to put in my other drawers that I didn't bring over, but it's a hell of a lot better than it was before. How nice. 
all of my January lipsticks and room for four more. And wow, what a journey. And that was everything. We decluttered nearly a third of my entire collection and I already feel like a weight is lifted off my shoulders and I'm definitely on the path to having a lipstick collection that feels like me right now. If you enjoyed this, if you like this kind of like mindful content, decluttering, that kind of thing, give me a like, subscribe, it means a lot to me. And thank you so much for being here. Bye.